A lot of you ask, hey, I would like to get into concealed carry, but I don't know what to carry, how to carry. Well, good news is we're gonna give you three different perspectives, one, two, three, right here today. So without further ado, should we hop into some concealed carry topics? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome back everybody, Clint today with Classic Firearms. We've got Kaya back with us. What's up guys? And we've got Sarah with us today. Hi guys. And we're out here at Take Aim Training and Range here to talk about a little some concealed carry action, what we all like to carry, how we like to carry, and a couple of drills down range, which we'll hop right into here in just a moment. But first, we kind of want to go over everybody's personal preference. Mm -hmm. So let's start with Sarah, the peace of mind over here. And uh, what do you like to carry? How do you like to carry it? So I carry, um, the gun is the P365XL, this is the Rose, and I carry uh, in the Filster Enigma with the Eclipse Holsters Zero G holster on there. Um, this is in a brand new pattern as well, but nice. um, we also have the Sport Belt and the upgraded Leg Leash. So, Sport Belt, what, yes. makes, it, what makes it sporty? So it is, the belt that you get with it is roughly this big. Yeah. Uh, it's very uncomfortable, very stiff. This is actually a neoprene like kind of stretchy material. Oh, nice. And it stretches with your body, it conforms to your body. It's a lot thicker too um, in width, so it kind of sits in your, it hugs all the right places pretty much. Right. Um, whereas the original one really just yanks into you and, and it's super uncomfortable and the updated or the upgraded leg yes. leash is just a little bit thicker also right correct yeah the one that comes with it super thin um very stiff very uncomfortable this is from rego concepts and it has it's thicker and it adjusts in two separate places whereas the original yeah. one you have to adjust all at one time which can be really confusing and honestly kind of a pain and then um, it also has an elastic at the yeah it. a little yeah. elastic piece at the end um so you can wear it pretty tight without it cutting into you that is actually well, really thick thigh ladies and men. <laughs> <laughs> and men well that's nifty um and just for those of you that are wondering like why is a leg leash necessary mm -hmm. we did actually cover the filster enigma holster in a previous video but on the draw it's ultimately to make sure that the gun stays put or yeah. the holster stays put yeah so any of the other belt systems that are like the non-belt carry mm -hmm. um that just wrap around your waist there's no way for the holster to stay in place as you draw so right. the leg leash provides tension and and pretty much keeps that holster all in one place while you pull out. Same so, mentality so. as those shirt stays. Military folks. Pretty, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, pretty, pretty much, yes. Yeah, exactly. pretty much, exactly. Until they pop and hit you right in the, you know. yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, for me, as if you guys have been watching the channel, you already know that I am a fan of the 365 XL macro. No, I still haven't added a red dot because I, I, I do. I promise I love shooting with red dots mm -hmm. and I want to. It's just that I haven't taken the time to actually test out which ones I really want because I still want the co-witness too. Getting there eventually. TLR7, a light, because I do agree with a pistol mounted light or a weapon mounted light, just something I go for, right? Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I really like the gun because for one, 17 round mag capacity plus one in the chamber, integrated compensator, the night lights, night lights, the night <laughs> sights pick up really well. Also, that full size grip and still being very slim. Even though this gun does have that extended grip, I can still conceal carry it pretty well. You might not agree with me that much. Uh, yeah, it's questionable. <laughs> <laughs> and that's only because when this is sitting under my shirt, it's that grip and that base plate that just sticks out a little bit. It yeah. pokes out a little. And if you're looking at me head on or even from the side, it's really not that noticeable. Yeah, you can tell yeah, that the grip is a little bit shorter. Significantly shorter. shorter. Okay, so, all right, significantly shorter. Uh, but you also sacrifice compromise. Compromise. My I gosh, capacity. <laughs> there is a compromise. I'm just yes. getting ahead of my words. But uh, ultimately, there is a compromise there. Do you want concealability? Do you want capacity? I choose to err on the side of capacity. That's all. And I do appreciate both. Don't get me wrong. I just really like that full size grip. Okay. All right, cool. And like I was saying before, looking at me head on, it's not as noticeable as like when you're just looking down and you're kind of like judging yourself like, oh my gosh, I can see it poking out. And then when I'm looking in the mirror, practicing draws, I'm like, oh. You'd have to be looking, like you know where to look and that type of stuff. Law and enforcement, most people you are cool. always, yep, you always kind of do that ocular pat down. What was that yeah. from? Oh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, ocular pat down, right? Like check his waistline and everything. He's clear, right? Yeah. Anyway, that's not how that works. But Kaya, what do you carry? Well, normally I carry the uh, Springfield XDS9 personally, but today I grabbed the uh, Smith and Wesson uh, MMP9 Shield Plus 
That's what it is. Performance Center. Performance Center. There I'm you a, go. I'm a fan of that gun. That gun shoots very Yes. Nice. And because of that, this is a video room gun, and it's got the uh, ported barrel and slide. I wanted to try it out. It's got the crimson trace uh, red dot. I wanted yep. to try it out, see how I do with this thing. I don't have experience with this gun, but seems awesome. Awesome slide. Trigger seems fantastic. Yeah. So I chose it. And here is the uh, holster that I'm going to run. Is it a secret score? Yep, Secret right Curls Concealment. Yeah, so this gun is one that I've been running too for a little while, and I love the fiber optics. They pick up really, really nice in a you know lower visibility, but especially like daytime visibility, nice and bright. The red dot, the Crimson Trace red dot, is a great addition as well. In case you can't pick up those sights, or if you start to train with the red dot some, I think you'll realize that shot placement and also target acquisition and shots on target will speed up over time, naturally a little bit quicker than what iron sights will. I think maybe we could save that for another video too yeah. with all three of us. Yeah. Uh, the light that's on it is the Streamlight TLR6A, which is a great little companion light for this. It's just notice this though. This is again, because I sometimes yeah. carry this gun, it's in my rotation. Something I noticed is if I do need to wear gloves or I'm, it's a little bit colder out or something like that, the trigger guard is small. You don't I have see. a lot of room in the trigger there, right? Yeah. Uh, other than that though, Fantastic pistol. Yep. Secret Squirrel Concealment. Love those guys also. Make great holsters, just as Filster does and Alpha Omega. So what do you guys say? We head down range, start to do some punching of a target, little, you know, just little fun draws, things like that. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's head down range. So we're gonna roll right into this. We're gonna start off to some quick drills. Again, maybe we can each do our own different perspective and experiences give some advice to some of you that might be looking to conceal carry these different styles of holsters. We'll talk a little bit more here in just a little bit later in this video, but let's get down to some basic drills. One of the drills that I really, really like, super simple in front of the target and most engagements for conceal carry takes place pretty much within arm's reach, yeah. uh, anywhere between arm's reach to approximately 10 to 15 yards. That is what you see the longest distance granted there are some exemptions to that look at the uh, mall shooting yeah uh, we even interviewed Stephen williford who actually engaged the target on foot barefoot in vehicle things like that with his ar so there's all sorts of different things out there but most defensive shootings take place Close right here so let's just hop into that really simple drill all it is is hey you're here somebody calls threat or we'll use the, utilize the shot timer and all I want to do is just familiarize myself with the draw. From here, all I want to do is make sure I'm grabbing the shirt, getting it out of the way, drawing the pistol, getting shots on target. Easy enough? Yeah, in this case, all of us are appendix carrying it. Yeah. Not everybody does that. Some people carry on the side, the back. In this case, appendix carry for us. And yeah. that's that's what we all choose to do and yeah. like to do. I think yeah. we can show your holster would probably be the easiest to do it with. Yeah. You let me know about yours, about going to a different side. This does not go from side to yeah. side. This is appendix only. Got it. Or and 12 o'clock. Yeah, and that's what you're most comfortable with. Yeah. Yep. Same, same here. Um, and for you, you probably have the easiest holster that you could probably go from, you yeah. know, wherever else, whatever o'clock position that you want it to be. Secret squirrel. Yeah, secret squirrel concealment yeah. makes it easy enough. Yep. Um, with the Alpha Mega holster, if I didn't have the sidecar over here, it'd be a little bit easier, I think. Yeah. I could change up the different positions. Also, I'm utilizing the next belt, which is kind of cool. It has like this little ratcheting system. So, you know, if I eat a really big lunch, I can uh, loosen that up just like that. You there know? you go. And then it ratchets right back into place. So, uh, nice design, but anyway, should we hop into some drills? Yeah, let's do it. Cool, Kai, you're going first. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so, what am I doing? Just uh, talking distance? Is that yeah, you, you, want? Can, you can do talking. Well, let's just start from back here, because okay. this is just gonna be a basic, hey, one, two, shirt up, and just do, how many other rounds do you feel comfortable with putting on target? Yeah, I, most likely, in real life, I draw and try to move, obviously, get out of the X, fire a couple of rounds, and Depends, yeah. it really depends if the guy is still moving. Do what you want to do, let's okay. see how you do it. All right, Kaya, ready? Yep. Shooter stand by, here we go. Ooh, nice tight little group that you had right there with the last two shots. Cool, so you had four rounds on target, good movement and everything, 1.82, cleared the shirt and all that. We did 1. a video. 1.82? Yeah, 1.82, uh, very good. So we actually did a video not too long ago talking about clearing the shirt and all uh, for the Canik Matei MC9. And in that, I was utilizing the holster that they provide with that gun first time. And it actually, the rear sight actually grabbed and snagged my shirt. Of course, if yeah. I was in that position, I would just make do. True. You know, uh, but make sure you're getting that shirt up and out of the way if this is how you choose yeah. to carry. Anyway, um, Sarah, you wanna run it? Sure. All right, stand by. Nicely done. Two shots right on target, right where you want them. Nice, smooth draw too. It looks like you practiced that. 
A little bit. <laughs> Very cool. And that was 1.90 for nice. two shots. That's Take good. It. So under two seconds, good draw. Very cool. Good. All right. I'll do this next. Let's go for it. Um, What's up? You talking to me? You have to press RV. You hit that green button. Oh, no. Just hit the green button. Yeah. No, yeah. it goes down. Oh, it's going to do it. Clint, hold on. Yeah. yeah. One point Don't know if that was intentional or not, but I'll it. It wasn't. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. Hey, man, and whenever that thing goes off, it's time to go, all right? That's all there is to it. So basic, simple drill, All that's all that was. Yeah. Now, like I was saying before, and we've done this also, we've talked a little bit about this type of drill, those standoff drills, right? Create that distance because you might have somebody that's right up on you, like, what's yeah. wrong with you, right? Yeah. And now all of a sudden it's like, hey, get off of me. Let's say they're trying to get to a weapon. It might be a knife. It might be whatever else, right? Okay, cool. And now all of a sudden, hey, escalation of force. Right? That's right, because this is your last line of defense. This shouldn't be your number one tool to go to. It should be this and then de-escalation. If somebody else decides to escalate further, and well, they take that choice out of your hands and yeah. do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. All right, cool, so this first. Anyway, so let's get to that point now. So with the target here, we're utilizing the ID target, the infinite target, which is really cool because, well, it can take a lot of shots. It's self-healing, all that type of stuff. So this guy's relatively short. Yep. And uh, so almost your height. Taller. <laughs> all right. So with that, however, let's say we want to create a little bit of distance. I have always practiced because since I'm a right-handed guy, my jab is always quickest than it is throwing my right hand. So I've always kind of thrown this punch, then come up, grab, engage. I kind of want to start steering away from that mindset, though, because I feel like I could be quicker. And we're going to test that here wherever the shot timer is. Yeah. We're gonna test that method because what I wanna try is to actually throw a punch with my right, because simultaneously I can coming from my shirt, then grab. So one of you guys recommended I should do that in the comment section. We're gonna try that today yeah. and uh, see how that works. So let's do it. All right, cool, let's try it. I'll try it shot how timer. I know with the left hand and then we'll go should right, see what happens. Let's do it. Okay. You ready? I am ready. So starting with the left hand. Nice and simple. First 2 shot. 2.16. What was that? 2.16. 2.16. So that was still two shots in over two seconds. Not that happy with it, but that's okay. Uh, let's try now that right hand strike and see if it's any quicker. Let's see where we get. Should ready? Ready. One point nice. nine two. There you go. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Really good. All right, I'm not mad about that. Notice the muzzle blast. That was nice and close. Yeah. Spicy. All right, I'll take it. You gonna try it, you gonna try it Kyle? Sure, Let's why not? It. I'm gonna try not to hit it too hard because I don't want this thing to fall, okay? <laughs> okay, you don't, want, you don't want to break it in half, right? Yeah, because it looks like it wants to go down. Does it? I mean. Anyway, all right. Oh, Let's I, go ahead I, and set this up here. Uh, Kai, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, you stand by. Back. Sir, stand back! I mean, he's dead. He's, that's a threat down, if you ask me. That was very good. Seven shots and 2.6. He's dead. Uh, that, that was a okay. quick draw, too. That looked good. Yeah. Did you go left or right hand? I wasn't I went left. You want to try right handed this time? Sure. Now it's I'm going to slow down because I'm not used to this. Yeah, just go for it, man. Let's full speed. It. Full speed, full send. You got this. Ready? Shooter, yeah. stand by. You never know. He's talking crap, man. Oh, gosh. One shot in and 1.54, you know. There you go. And somehow you got mud on the. <laughs> hey, I'm out. An, an I don't have, have another mag. Down. So I mean, you use the, you, you do what you gotta do. You I know. know? Just, so just one of those things. Like you're just trying to be fast. I mean, get the mag quick, out. And it was under two seconds that you got a hit on target. So just one. Yeah. I mean, you got technically two hits on target. All right. True. Yeah. Sarah. <laughs> My uh, macro didn't run out. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. All I'm right, so. Right hand first? What, what are you comfortable with? Right. What are you most comfortable with? Is right handed? Mm -hmm. Then maybe you should stick with that. Because, I mean, dude, dude I'm telling you. I felt awkward with this. Did you? Yeah. Because when I'm like in the whole police work, state police, like they don't wait, want you to use your right hand for anything. You carry your bags, your food, everything with just left. Yeah, but I'm not police. You're strong. I'm soul. a lady. <laughs> just mind my own. Well, Women are also military and law enforcement. I, I'm oh. not, though. <laughs> I'm not even around at her. <laughs> like that one. I'm just... <laughs> no. Really? It, it hit. It hit above. It hit 
high up somewhere. He's trying to take me out. <laughs> Just fucking start. No, nope, stop it. Get back to it. I, I threw it at her head. It just went down. I saw it. It was, it was over here. It was here. There's also women in military and law enforcement, and I get the right hand thing because military, they always want you to keep your right hand free so that way you can salute the philosophers. That's it. Yeah. All right. So there you go. I'm just a regular old lady. <laughs> Minding my own business. All right, let's do this. Make it so, complicated. All right, so you know what? Let's go ahead and do both. Do what you're comfortable with first and then switch to your, what you're not comfortable with, all right? Okay. And let's just see what happens here. So, so you're ready? Yeah, you're my <laughs> Fair enough. Stand by, make sure you get that good strong punch. Tell him to back off. Oh. Yeah, that was good. Okay. I mean, that, that was under, I mean, that was 1.97. That was two shots on target. What was so bad about it? it? So what? I noticed I you- Messed with my hands. Yeah, you want, yeah, so I, I noticed- I wanted both hands, but then I overthought it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah. Getting in your head, right? Just focus on getting those shots on target. That was really good though. I mean, again, quick draw, 1.97. You still got two shots on target in under two seconds. Do you want to try it now left-handed? Well, striking with your left first. And don't be afraid to punch the crap out of this target. I don't want to follow me. It's going to mess me up. Punch through the target. The bad guy's on the other side. There you go. Don't break your wrist. All right, ready? I don't want to punch. Well, you know, yes. Good thing you got a gun then. Shooter, stand by. You're getting up in its face. <laughs> so you were faster the other way. Yeah. This was uh, two point two or two shots, two point one zero. However. Okay. So, not bad. Still really not bad, right? I don't know. Let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I think the um, uh, little like Eminem really is what yeah. scared him. But, you know. <laughs> Speck off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I just say this: like, it's gunfights are almost always dynamic, not static. So when you're just punching, get off that X. You know, try to offset a little bit if you can. Just as you're firing, move. Because in real life, you're gonna move. So when you're training, you want to train the way you. Uh, we fight the way we train. Mm -hmm. So we train the way you fight. Hey, and we're just having fun at the range too. Yeah. So if you can find an outdoor range that allows you to do these types of practices, go out there, be safe while doing it, and take your time. Before we actually got out here, we did go through some repetitions, just a little, hey, let's start basic simple before we start getting on camera here. Just overall getting up here, cool, on target. All right, reholster, reset. All right, one more time, I'm clearing, I'm out. Ooh, even still, you notice I got my yeah. shirt snagged, right? And my flashlight on. So there you go. So even then, just doing these slow repetitions, you can do find yourself fumbling a little bit. So just focus on that. Make sure you are being safe, going out to the range and getting these, this practice in. You can still practice this stuff as well, even at home, as long as you're doing some, you know, dry fire type stuff. Again, probably the biggest thing and the best thing you can do is this right here. All right, cool. Come up, draw, right? Mm -hmm. And making sure, my biggest thing, and I always forget, make sure I get the shirt up and out oh, of the way. Yeah. Yeah. When I first did it, my shirt kind of got caught up with it. So yeah. Especially behind. on the red dot, I yeah. noticed. Yeah. On the red I do dot. like a claw grip, so I'm not searching for the bottom of my shirt. I usually so you wear it tucked grab up in. Here. Yeah. yeah. I usually wear my top of my sh or the bottom of my shirt tucked in, so I do a claw grip and yank. Yeah. What do they call that a French tuck? Yeah. Okay, I know style. <laughs> do you have any advice for ladies that specifically that maybe apply? Because you know, ladies dress a little bit differently. Yeah. The French tuck does help. Um, I have a lot of people that ask me about like why I tuck my shirt in the front, and it's not. I mean, it is for. It used to be for style, but it's truly for the concealment proper or purposes. Um, it does give you a little bit more to play with too on grabbing. Uh, if I were down like this, I would have to search for the bottom of my shirt to kind of get it. This I have less to search for, so it kind of makes it into a big bunch as it is. So I really, really do love the French tuck. I do it with all of my shirts. And um, also just noticing you always, you know, get on to me about Clint, you're printing, Clint, you're yes. printing. That, like I'm not a stylish individual, yeah. but I can't say tucking in the shirt in and having a little bit more loose material kind of makes it kind of go away a little yeah. bit. Yes. Not but as much with this. I'm also a stickler for the clips. Oh, they do show. I don't so like that's the why you like the, that's, that's why I like the Enigma. Cause that's you don't like see any clips. I'm wearing a gun belt with this. You do not have to. Uh, this is kind of overkill, but um, with the Enigma, you ha it's virtually invisible. True. Uh, no clips. I can wear whatever belt I want. I can wear a skirt. I can wear, I can wear a dress. I've worn a dress before. I mean, if you don't want huh. printing, you want obviously bigger shirts, which yeah. I refuse to wear. Well, we know that. 
I think everybody knows that. Yeah. Well, that's great. So we've talked a little bit about how we carry, and you bring up some really good points too. Because again, I've always just kind of carried like this, right? Mm -hmm. And it's very comfortable for me. I can still reach down, pick up stuff, whatever. Oh crap, I drop okay. something. Yep, exactly. And so it works for me as well. I think it actually works even more comfortably with the Enigma. You should try uh, it on. Yeah, I've, I've done. I've worn the Enigma. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. It's just for me. It, this is really easy to kind of take on and off and yeah. stuff like that. So I, I really like that as well. Sidebar, ladies. When you go to the bathroom, you have to take your pants all the way off with a sidecar. Like, Pop. makes it really, really difficult. Yeah. And I don't want to take it off and put it on the... Just don't forget it in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, see? But I've with seen... this, I just do business like normal. Yeah. Don't have to worry about it. So again, taking things into consideration that no, I never really thought of. Because again, I mean... Yeah. You know. Most men don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Priorities. Think? You said a nummy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. It's, again, this wasn't really all that instructional as it was just informative and just having some fun at the range, like I said, with a couple of dry, there's nothing dry fire here today, <laughs> uh, but we did earlier, but also just running a couple of drills, again, with the ID target, which can take a lot of rounds and a lot of punches. Uh, the fairing strips, on the other hand, not so we, yeah, not so much, uh, but that's okay. So anyway, we'll leave it off there, guys. And um, typically, how we end these off, we kind of go like in like a little order, you know. Okay. So um, uh, so I'll say we always appreciate you and your business. We'll say it's God bless. We'll see you next time at Classic Firearms. Yeah. There you go, guys. We appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at Classic Firearms. Oh, she got him the first there time. There you go. There you go.